to speak on the holy grail of Six Sigma, Lean, and Business Process Management. Ladies and gentlemen, let's put our hands together for Ms. Ana Maria Beam Mercado. Uh, before we get into Lean and uh, Six Sigma, I first need to lay the, the fundamentals. So where, does, where do these initiatives come from? All right. As managers in our, in our work, we actually have uh, two, two things that we need to do, or two jobs. Okay? To do our work, okay, which is obvious, all right? but uh, another thing is for us to have a mindset for continuous improvement. So a part of our job is to continuously improve what we do. Okay? Um, now, when we do our work, we would like to see work belonging to processes. Okay? It says here, all work occur in a system of interconnected processes. Would you agree with me that everything we do is part of a process? Yes, right? Our businesses and our organizations are made up of a collection of processes. Now, to understand the process helps uh, your employees and yourselves better see their role in serving customers, both internal and external. Okay? Uh, a Six Sigma culture is characterized by um, several factors. Okay? Uh, first, customer centricity. You really want to make sure that all the projects that you launch are meeting the, the voice of your customer, okay? whether your customer is internal or external. Six Sigma became very popular because most Six Sigma projects are tied to financial results. Um, when, when I was a uh, practicing uh, master black belt, my boss gave us a, a floor map and it says, show me the money. Because he wants me to launch projects that will actually either generate revenue for the company, reduce costs, or uh, improve our working capital. And most Six Sigma projects can really deliver financial results. That's why it's very popular for CEOs because, you know, at the end of the day, how much is this going to save our company? Uh, how much revenue or how much cost can it uh, reduce? Right? But, you know, not everything has to be tied to financial results. Management must be engaged. I would always like to argue that when it comes to Six Sigma championships or Six Sigma sponsorships, um, support is not equivalent to commitment. So your, your management must be committed to the initiative. They can't just support it and stand by the side. They actually have to be there with you and com to be committed uh, to the initiative. Finally, when meshed together as Lean Six Sigma, each of these ideals serves to uh, do two things. It, Lean can help increase the speed of your process, while Six Sigma can help decrease process variation. So it's really a very good mix. While Lean principles are able to decrease process waste, Six Sigma is able to implement procedures to increase process. All right, and with that, I'd like to thank you for your attention.